Cut her loose again. She's treated again. Hopefully this one's on the outside. It's a really nasty viney shrew, so I'm gonna go up there and shake one of the vines and see if I can get it to move around so I can see it. As you can see in that last shot, after I shook that vine, one of them timbered out and went to that nest right next to it. So I cut her loose again, we're going to another one. Just cut Sheppy loose again and there's a pile of rubs in here. I remember coming in here earlier this year and seeing that one all scraped up like an old one. All these trees in here are hit now. That one's hit really good. Jeez. This one's real high up. It's up to about my waist. <laughs> she just struck too, I'm sure you heard that. But I have jumped some bedding and that stuff right on the edge before, so it's not surprising. And I find sheds in here about every year. I just never make it over here to hunt because I'm usually hunting closer to home. Would be nice to put a trail camera back here though and just see what's been coming back here. Jeez. And this is just this one little spot. So maybe next year you'll see some deer hunting videos back here. I'll probably make one sit back here. I usually do, but I didn't even get back here this year since I got my buck so early. I figured while I wait for her to finish this track, I'm gonna look around here some more and I found some more rubs and scrapes. Nice one. Another one over here. Definitely a lot smaller than the other ones, but this whole end of this woods is just tore up. And people hunt back here. I don't understand how they don't kill something.
she's treed now. We'll go see what she has. Hopefully this one stays put long enough for me to get my camera set up and shoot it. It's a lot easier when I have two people. That way I can run most of the camera and one of them can have a shotgun. That way when it starts moving, they can just shoot it. But we're running two cameras and trying to get everything set up without a squirrel timber and out's pretty difficult. Right, there it is. Good girl. Good girl, Shep. Now, try and hurry up and get set up before it runs out. Good girl, Shep. Good girl, Shep. Good job. Thank you for watching my videos. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like them. There's going to be plenty more to come. I'm going to be doing some coyote fox calling here in the near future too and some more coon hunting. But thanks for watching.